Hi guys and welcome back to KNC Taxidermy. We're continuing on with our largemouth bass mounting this largemouth bass. We've gone through the skinning and process and if you've been following along with those videos you know what I'm talking about. Um, you can go back and watch them on our YouTube page at KNC Taxidermy. Um, so what we're going to need before we get started here is we've got our form, we've got our skinned out largemouth bass, we've got our eyes, we've got our staple gun, we've got our hide paste, we've got our mache, the Sally mache from McKenzie, and of course something to mix that in and water. And I've got my hide puller, which I use um, to rough up my form. I rough it up before I paste on the skin to the form. It helps it to adhere better. So um, these are some things I have here that we're going to use to go ahead and get the skin onto the form. And then once we do that, we will put it onto the mounting stand and start pinning fins and things into place where we want, start setting our position and everything like that where we want it to be. And then um, it will dry and we will do some sculpting and then there'll be the airbrushing and all that. But first, we've got to get this fish on the form. So that's the next process. All right, as you can see, I am fitting my skin to this form to see how it's going to fit. And this is my caudal fin. Your tail fin is your caudal fin. This is my soft dorsal. This is my spiny dorsal. And these are your pelvic fins and your anal fins and, of course, your pectoral fin. Now, my, my soft dorsal and my spiny dorsal, as you can see, the top ridge of this is way back here. So I want these to pull up more. And they're not quite lining up where I want without pulling you know, my anal fins too much forward. So what I'm in, you can see this strong knot up here, which I'm not, maybe you can, maybe you can't, maybe if I turn it a little more. There's a little too much meat on the form up here. So I'm going to, and even if I reposition my head, it's just a little, little too much meat on the form up here. So I'm going to have to alter this form a little bit to fit this skin, which sometimes you have to do. What I'm gonna do is I usually just take my sawzall and shave a little bit off and then I sand it nice and round because you don't want any hard corners or anything like that on on your form you don't want to feel that um, our our bass our fish are nice and rounded so I'll sand that up and then we'll test fit it back on but I need to take how I see now that I see how this fits I need to take a little bit of meat off up here so that my dorsal fins uh, fit correctly without pulling my anal fin too far up and also if you put too much stress if I try to pull it too tight I find that it puts too much tension on my scales and then during the during drying process excuse me it your that causes your scales to pop up more if if you uh, if you try to pull too tight, then it puts a lot of stress on your scales and they start doing silly, funny things and acting wonky. So I want to make sure that I don't put I don't pull this too tight. So I'm going to alter my form to make sure that this girl fits on here nice, and so I don't have to pull and stretch this super tight to fit on here because I don't want to put that stress on the skin. 
on these scales. And you can also, a lot of people use like Mod Podge or something. Once, once it starts drying a little bit, you can go and paint over it with some Mod Podge or your, uh, fish glue or your fin glue or whatever and you can paint over it and that'll help keep your keep your uh, scales from popping up during the during the uh, drying process but we'll we'll get to that later on I don't want to get too much but ahead of myself but right now what I want to do is I want to make sure my fins are correctly in position and not too far rolling forward on the form. So right now I'm going to take a little off the top so that these uh, dorsal fins uh, fit correctly on that top ridge line. As you can see, I've sanded and made some adjustment to my form. I've taken some off the top and even a little off the bottom because she was a little bulky on the bottom. I did that before I knew I needed to take some off the top though because it was just a little too big. But as you can see, I've made a little adjustments that I think will help um, my skin fit better. So we are going to see, go ahead and try to get this on and, and see how this looks. As you can see, this is going to fit much better, and it's not as going to put as much stress on the skin. Uh, it, it's pulled up to the top where I'd like it along that line. My lateral line is much more centered, and then I've got plenty of room down here on the belly. I've got plenty of to pull that down and around as I start tacking it on the back. Um, so this is this is going to look much more natural and as you can see the fins are a much better placement and that is going to look much better we just had to shape up that form a little bit to make sure that that fish is going to fit nice and neat I always check to make sure my uh, fins are where they need to be and and there's not too much stress on the skin. I think it's very important to check before uh, before you start attaching things. So especially with fish, make sure you fit them because it can throw off your whole mount. Thank you for watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation and we'll see you then.